At times, we're going to be asked to solve a problem where we have to divide a decimal by a whole number. Let's see the process and how easy it is. Now, always, we're going to be required to know our times tables. Without our times tables, we can't do division. Let's see how it works. Let's look at the first example. We have 36.6 divided by 6. We ask ourselves, how many 6s go into 3? We know that can't happen. Then we move on and ask, how many 6s go into 36? We know 6 goes into 36 6 times. Then we realize we have our point, we put our point straight away. Then we ask, how many 6s go into 6? And of course, the obvious answer is 1, 6.1. So 36.6 divided by 6 is 6.1. Let's move on and see this one here. The question says 2.5 is divided by 5. So we ask how many 5s go into 2? And we know no 5s can get into 2. We put 0 and we carry the 2. And we notice we have a, our point. We must put our point straight away. How many 5s go into 25? We know that 5 goes into 25 5 times. So let's go through it one more time. How many 5s go into 2? None. We carry the 2, and we notice there's a point. We put the point up. 5 into 25, 5 times. So 2.5 divided by 5 is 0 0.5. Let's look at this example here. It looks long, but if we follow the same process, nothing is going to be hard. 0 0.1245 divided by 2. We're going to follow the same process we did in the last two, and you're going to notice how easy it is. How many twos go into 0? None. We notice we have a point. We always put it in. How many twos go into 1? None. We carry the 1. How many twos go into 12? 6. How many twos go into 4? 2. How many twos go into 5? We know 2 goes to 5 twice, but we notice there's a remainder. 2 into 5 goes twice, which makes 4, remainder 1. Now, we think, okay, we've got no more numbers. We put zeros. So 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1, and all of a sudden we've created a 0, and we've carried the 1. Now, how many 2's go into 10? 2 goes to 10 5 times. Let's go through one more time. How many 2's go into 0? None. Our point, we put it in. How many 2's go into 1? None. We carry the 1. How many 2's go into 12? 6. How many 2's go into 4? 2. How many 2's go into 5? 2 go into 5 twice. Remainder 1, we add an extra 0 to continue on. How many 2's go into 10? Our answer, 5 there. So 0 0.06225. It looks long, but it's repetitive. We do the same step over and over again until we get our final solution. Very easy, easier, easiest, but they all follow the same process.